Hi friends, I am Ruxana Murtaza. You are watching me on my YouTube channel. In this video, we will going to talk about the very good university in Japan and uh, Fukuoka University has announced admission and who can apply for this university. Uh, mostly masters and PhD students can apply for this university and uh, this university has announced their application for university track. And uh, here I'm going to tell you this is the official notice from the university and I'm going to tell you that wh who, are, who can apply, who are eligible for it and uh, what are the requirements for it and how you can apply. You know they have um, they, uh, here you can see uh, they have um, mentioned here that the first session the, the first election they will conduct it in February and later on in March session they will uh, conduct the final selection and they, the result will be announced in the end of July. And um, who can eligible you know and uh, these are uh, these these all things are clearly mentioned one by one and uh, who can eligible for it in fact the all international students are eligible for uh, this scholarship because uh, you know students having not citizenship of japan they can apply for it and uh, you can go one by one you know from the all the written form and uh, you will understand much more clearly and uh, here i'm going to give you um just about uh, the application process nationality in the way you know you you, you in the all international students can be applied and according to age you know they have given the uh, age you know you must burn you must burn between uh, this and you know you must burn after or before uh, after or later on 1958 and uh, you must not burn before this and um, academic background you can see who can apply master students can apply and what are their requirements and the phd students can apply what are their requirements and the major fields of studies you know there are you know there are most of the department are um, teach in both japanese and uh, english and uh, you can uh, you can choose according to your uh, choice and the language ability uh, in japan in this special in fukuoka university you are not allowed to uh, you are not required to submit any IELTS or TOEFL english provision certificate is enough for you and uh, you can apply for this way and uh, health wise you can see you know you must be fit and you have to be fill the certificate of um, uh, you know the, the there will be available the physical examination record and you must fill the, their thing and uh, these are these both are the um, letter you know after your selection uh, about there is a visa requirements and so so on and um, here is the the again the same thing are repeated here uh, master master students uh, in japan there is a two years program and uh, for phd three years program and uh, scholarship benefit you can see here the monthly allowances this much amount will be given to you and um, in, uh, traveling expenses you can go through from it by yourself and uh, educational fees everything will be free and um, you know after your enrollment there is a, a research a research fee will be given to you and uh, i mean japan max scholarship is a fully funded scholarship and here they categorize different fee accommodation if you want to suspend your payment in you know there is alternative for you and uh, this is the required documents you know you must fill the max scholarship form you must fill the excel as uh, form and the study plan this is very important for a selection process abstract of your thesis if you done with a thesis in last degree and uh, this is for phd students and um, letter of recommendation by dean or a person uh, this is the letter that you must write to the dean of that university and uh, referring to them by any of your teacher in your own university and this is the certificate of family family registered or citizenship certificate issued by home country and um, and uh, these are uh, the, the, the 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 passport size pictures and uh, officially transcript educational and um, and officially degree you must have and uh, if you are not uh, completed then you can go for hope certificate and the hope certificate will you have to collect your hope certificate from your university and um, uh, these are the things the uh, certificate of health this is the uh, website of the university you must fill the form and uh, these are the requirement requirement are very simple and uh, there is a note for all the 
all the uh, students who just want to be apply for it it's better for you to just go through from all this process by yourself and later on you can apply if you have any question you can ask me in a comment and i will answer you and uh, i will see you in next video till that allah peace